The planet is dangerously warming. There are no emergency rooms for planets. And so what we have in the room is the solution to this incredible crisis. Yeah. And yeah. the changes that are taking place are massive and revolutionary. So denial is not a climate change policy. It's not an economic policy. Energy efficiency, renewable energy, is a jobs policy. It's an economic policy, and it's an environmental policy. The science, it's the research, it's the technology, it's the excitement about that all of us should have in this room about the future of all the technologies that we're looking at today that will move us forward to renewable, clean energy that will get us off of fossil fuels, that will free us from the rest of the world's fossil fuel energies, and make us independent. All of you in this room, represent the opportunity we have in this country to take us to the next level when it comes to advanced energy and clean energy. I believe that we have not only the technology but the human capital, including in this room, to solve the world's biggest challenges. So let's get to work. We are a heat recovery ventilation manufacturer from Switzerland. And we work extensively with high efficiency, net zero, passive house, energy efficient construction. Tucson Fuel Cell is a fuel cell manufacturer uh, that manufactures a 400 kilowatt stationary fuel cell. We're the only and largest geothermal trade organization in the world. Good alternatives, we're a nonprofit solar installer. Um, we install exclusively for low income families and we offer job training to underserved communities. Uh, Kingspan manufactures uh, exterior insulated cladding for commercial buildings and our focus is on envelope first energy efficiency. My division, the energy division, focuses on energy projects. So it's uh, programs to help finance renewable energy and advanced biofuels systems. So what we do is develop policies and implement programs and then projects to make our clients more sustainable. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory, NREL, is uh, the U.S. Department of Energy's premier laboratory for research and development in renewable energy and energy efficiency technologies. What we are is we're an umbrella organization for all the energy research going on at Carnegie Mellon University. The National Biodiesel Board is the U.S. Trade Association representing the biodiesel industry. We represent over 200 companies. Those are biodiesel producers, biodiesel feedstock producers, and petroleum marketers. The best thing about today, I think, is to uh, expose ourselves to policymakers and energy efficiency and energy policy folks. Uh, the publicity is always good to set up a booth and explain to people who maybe you never heard of geothermal what it is. So we're still working on getting our name out and um, building partnerships in the region, so it's a great way to uh, make some of those connections. But expos like these are great opportunities to uh, you know, be in touch with the stakeholders. Um, it's, it's meeting people with, with uh, like interests within the industry and finding out about new and exciting and innovative products that are coming out. We've uh, found at the expo here that a lot of, uh, of the interns who are here for the summer uh, as well as the staffers are coming by to, sit, to learn more about our educational activities. It's great for us to be here because it's great to connect with energy and policymakers at large because there's ways that we can catalyze this movement, work together to create a more sustainable future, which is allow us to move forward.